I am super out of breath because I just walked up a hill, but going into the pilgrim's office right there and just looking around. And just the view is so pretty. It's so pretty. I just got my credential or my pilgrim's passport. I'm feeling a lot better today because yesterday at dinner I was just feeling really emotional. Um, I ended up starting my wisdom cycle too. So I think that, that played a piece and just being really tired. Um, but yeah, oh my, look at how cute everything is. This is incredible, it's so cute. Um, but yeah, I was just feeling quite emotional and just like feeling myself already closing off, which was not the best. Um, but right now I'm going up to the viewpoint in St. John before taking off to the Roncis Bias. And yeah, I'm just gonna go up. My instructor was so, so nice. His name was Christian and <laughs> I swear I was in there so much longer than everyone else was. But I learned so much. He's so sweet. Um, yeah, I just got a ton of information. I feel like my heart is just like wide open right now. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the viewpoint at the top, holding my backpack at the pilgrim's office. So I'm able to come up here and check out the view really fast because if you getting need to get on my way to Roncis Valles to ensure that I have a bed for the night. Um, but yeah, here, you can take a look where I am. Lots of stairs. Lots of stairs. Wow. I just came up through there. And it's a little bit foggy today, but I think normally you can see the whole, the whole thing. Um, as you can tell, I'm quite out of breath, but it's so pretty. It literally looks like a fairy tale here. Look at this beautiful tree. Wow, this is the church, I believe. Oh, I think you can see so the sun is rising over there. It's just me out here alone. And I cannot believe I'm in France traveling around by myself right now. It's kind of incredible, honestly. Um, oh, look, that's just like a layer of clouds. So pretty. So I am walking to Roncesvalles. I don't know exactly how to, to read this, but yeah. Wow. Oh, there's little, what are those, goats or sheep? They're so cute. I just looked down. I just took a moment to do a little prayer and those were down there. So cute. My first hero. So I just walked over there, coming up to this point, and then I'm staying to the left. Uh, the red sign up there says Orason. And yeah, starting starting the day out at I think it's like 8.30, I think, maybe, yeah. Francis Valles, 26 kilometers, Santiago, 791. Let's go. Oh, 
The horse picture is beautiful too. Yeah. <laughs> Tourism level 1000. There we were. How many miles or kilometers have we walked? Yeah, look, they're all over there. There's like... That's amazing. I told you, I will see birds everywhere we go. <laughs> well, I wouldn't so, be surprised. Um, uh, those eagles are what? I think they're hawks. Hawks, ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at all. I haven't seen that many together. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. No, I think those are hawks. Four hours and 20 minutes to Rosas Bias. 17 kilometers. I think. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hello. Oh, that'd be so annoying to have all those flies. <laughs> They're like, we're just here. <laughs> I like the music. Sounds good. I wonder why that one has the bell. Do you see the... How are you feeling? I'm good, so... <laughs> uh, I think we made the half way that we have to do to today. I think we're halfway. Yeah. We've been walking for how many hours? I think three. Like yeah, three, three. Close to three, maybe closer to three and a half now. Super pretty. <sighs> the sun is hot. There's no bad Oh yeah. From. They're following us. <laughs> That's so cool. I can't tell if those are, they look like eagles. They look too big to be hawks. But they could be hawks, I don't know. There's sheep and horses up there. <sighs> And there's been eagles and hawks flying all around us. So pretty. Oh, yeah. There's some sheep and wild horses. she's pregnant. I don't know. It kind of looks like she's pregnant. Hi. 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 Hi.
Arega, Areaga. I don't know how to pronounce it. Here's the girls. And we're getting off the train. 10 kilometers. Yay, 10 kilometers left. Been walking for four hours today, so far. Here's a little shelter in case the weather is not gorgeous like today and you need a place of refuge. You can stay there and be safe for the night. Oh gosh. I was looking forward to the food truck and we missed it. So unfortunately we're starving and I have no water and looking for water right now. I think we're like one or two kilometers away with 10 kilometers to go. Oh. The compass tell. 765. I think there's water. Let's go. Now I'm in Spain. <laughs> Hola, Spain. chica. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Bonjour. <laughs> Salut, ça va? Rie comme ça. <laughs> decided to take the longer route um, or actually sorry the shorter route but the steeper route so we are walking down it's pretty pretty steep but I've been running or jogging because it's just too hard on my knees um, we are almost there I think about three more kilometers so that's exciting we excited for a shower and still need to make sure I can get a bed for the night is it just me or does this tree look like it has a hand and holding up fingers at me? Also something really interesting is that since I left my partner behind I was thinking about I was like oh no what if I don't see him again and immediately <laughs> rolled up my left ankle and I was like you have to stop worrying about the past um like no worrying about the past and then the message that I got was like you'll see him again just don't worry and let that go and um but yeah he got some really cool pictures of me with the horse that came up to me and that was like probably the coolest thing part of the whole entire day so super cool i made it to rosa's valles yay oh my goodness i just gotta see if i can find a bed for the night and find my walking buddy oh this is interesting Witchcraft. The root of the witchcraft. Ancient rites, mythology, and superstition are blended together in the witchcraft phenomenon. The figure of Basajon, a character of the, from Basque mythology who reigns in the forest, thus gives his name to a setting in which popular tradition places witches, covens, and witch like celebrations. Interesting. give you a fitted sheet it's like paper and then you have your locker and you just put in a euro there and then each time you unlock it you get it comes back to you so that's what I got set up I'm gonna go take a shower and do some laundry